Yeah, what's going on YouTube? See my bikes. These ones in the corner are fucking junk. I'm going to be stripping them for parts for another build project. That comes later though. Just these three. This one, this one, and this one. Going to take the seats off, the brakes, tubes, tires, wheels, you know, that whole nine yards. I already took the fucking kickstand off of this one. Anyway, I seen some shit online, and it made me fucking laugh. Uh, people think I'm after build, break, fix, and um, I'm not after anybody. I'm just trying to spread fucking useful information instead of false fucking information like some of these bike builds out here. Sorry, that was the zoom button. Anyway, here's my four strip. Still running. Of course, I can't drive it right now because um, we got some kind of fucking snowstorm or winter coldness going on right now, which is a bunch of bullshit. But you can read the mileage on there. When it was nice and sunny out, I did 125 miles or 124.7 kilometers. I call it miles, though. And... Still got a full tank of gas. Oh, hold on. I gotta get me a new fucking gas cap. Okay, it's on. All right. And build break fix says the uh, the kits from eBay are fucking garbage. No, um, first off, uh, you gotta know how to build the kits. And you got to know how to apply them to the certain type of bikes. Unfortunately, I'm not like build, break, fix, okay? I don't have disposable fucking income like he's got. Apparently, he's got a Swiss bank account or some shit. Or some foreign money locked away somewhere. Or printing press in his fucking basement or something. Because, me, I'm, I just do standard builds to where I get the bitch running. And you don't have to worry about on down the road, your chain flies off and fucks your motor up or your fucking rear wheel or whatever. See, mine's still on there. This and this came straight from, um, no, you know what? I'm not even going to tell you who it came from. <clears throat> because you people will end up going to the website and buying all the fucking parts. So I'll just keep that a trade secret. And then the other part... Notice how uh, this ain't plastic, it's f uh, fucking metal, and it guides the fucking chain. That plastic shit, and the shit that doesn't attach to your fucking motor kit, okay? Also, new gearbox. Black. And guess what? Go long drive bar, and watch. Ooh, the chain stays on. The chain stays on. Ain't that amazing? Also, in my last video, I showed you all that um, these are two different motor mounts. This inner part, okay, was supposed to be iron motor mounts. As you can see, that's stainless steel or carbide fucking metal. I think it's stainless steel. Because when you touch it with a magnet, it fucking sticks, and this part sticks. So, when I got the motor mount, this one, because as you can see, the holes down here, you can slide the engine all the way over here, or slide it all the way that way. I had to slide the engine all the way that way, so that this chain lies up, lines up with the fucking rear wheel and this fucking uh, chain guide right here. Because the iron motor mounts, if you look on the front of this bike, I scratched the fucking paint because that's an angle grinder, Mark. I gotta put, I think I did it on both sides, yep. I'm gonna have to fucking paint over that or just paint this bike frame fucking black. But I think I'm just gonna get either baby blue, sky blue, or whatever type of blue this is. I'm gonna have to get some fucking paint and paint that. Anyway, forget that right now. Anyway, 
these are two different motor mounts I'm gonna go back to that now this mount this mount okay as you can see it don't it doesn't line up on the tubing I could have took a hammer and smashed this to match but as you can see the motherfucker is mounted okay see it's mounted and I go like this all right I can grab the fucking engine that bitch is on there ain't going nowhere now the iron motor mounts here's what the fuck happened I go to tighten up the back okay and before putting this engine on the fucking motor mount I just lined up the motor mount and then it connected to the back and then it it fucking bolted on and I was like cool then I go to put the front motor mount on and the little slidey slide part that used to go on here okay didn't go on the whole fucking way what happened was um, you had to take an angle grinder okay and you had to cut it out as wide hold on Let me turn the wheel so you can see this you had to cut it out as wide as this fucking mouse right here on this motor mount so that's what I did I, tra I took a marker or a chisel and I carved the fucking line on the iron motor mount then I proceeded to use the angle grinder uh, I had the angle grinder which right now this phone that I'm holding is the hand I was using the angle grinder with and then I was using this hand to hold the iron piece and then I was just sitting there cutting it out to match this fucking shape so that it would fit this fucking tubing here see because this is a fat tube this is a skinny tube. The iron motor mount that was made wasn't going to fit on this fucking bike. I realized that as soon as I went to fucking cut it out. And I kept cutting it out, grinding it out, cutting it out, grinding it out. Not on the bike, but on the motor mount itself. Guess what the fuck happened? I cut it so fucking far that it thinned the metal out. So when it came time to put the motor mount on the fucking bike, the slidey slide part, I adjusted the front like this piece is, pulled it in, tightened it, and then on the other fucking side did the same thing, pulled it in, and then I tightened it, and then guess what happened? Time to do the front, and then I want to tighten the fucking bolts down like these are. Snap goes the fucking iron motor mount. I took it off, took the bolts off, I lifted the fucking motor mount up slightly, and the fucking this side of the motor mount and the other side on this other side fell out hit the fucking ground hit the fucking garage concrete right here so I got pissed off I took the fucking iron motor mounts and I fucking threw them and then the rest of the shit just fucking shattered on the fucking garage floor garbage parts beware of garbage parts that's all I have to say now I do have new throttle and um, I do have a kit I have the fucking the kill switch this kill switch is still good this needs to be up like that so this ain't hanging I didn't get to that yet I'm gonna fucking use some tape clean that up a little bit so it looks like that but anyway I got this piece this piece and this I gotta take these grips off keep this on here because this still works take this grip off take this grip off and put the two new one on because when I got this fucking kit okay it was an eBay return but I made it work all this fucking paint right here paint here paint here paint here and paint here all fucking peeled off look at that fucking shits turning fucking black right there but anyway something else that that belt brake fix doesn't have rear view mirrors that are adjustable also back brake lever and a front brake lever see and also build brake fix says oh you want to make sure that your uh, your fenders are tightened down because when you're driving the fenders are gonna fuck your wheel up well no shit they, these fenders ain't going nowhere because this big ass fucking bolt right here with two lock washer pieces, okay? 
they're going to hold this fender on. Now, the only part I have to worry about is the part down here where it bolts right there. I'm going to have to get a long enough bolt, put it through here, and then put a fucking lock washer on the opposite side of this. See it? The little thing right there? Right there? Yeah. Lock wash that bitch that don't come loose. I already lock washed the, uh, this kickstand. It's a brand new kickstand. Now, this fucking thing here never came loose. Not even once. Look. Although, hold on. Hold the pedal. Hold on. I seen some shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay. Okay, that might just be me. I seen some shit. There was like a delay. It's all connected. I got the wider fucking pedals. Okay. Got the wider pedal on the other side too. <clears throat> and most people that build these kits, they try to take this motor, this motor mount, and they try to put it on an OCC Stingray bike. And I've seen what retards did. Uh, instead of going out and spending the extra money for the wide pedal cranks, like these are, okay? Instead, what they do is, they take this off. Try to bring this down as far as they can. So it gets close to your chain and fucks it up. Look how much clearance I got between the chain and the chain guard. See, I can stick my fingers under there. And unlike everybody else, they had to take their chain guard off. I got mine still on, baby. Yep. Also, when you get one of these kits and you put it on a Huffy Cranbrook bike, by the way, this frame is fucking solid. This shit's like made out of titanium or some fucking shit. It's definitely not fucking bimetal or fucking aluminum. I'll tell you that much right now. Anyway, fucking, um, <clears throat> uh, what was I going to say? Oh, when you get these kits, they give you this fucked up uh, thing that connects here. The fucking exhaust that comes out, comes down. Mine bends this way. But when I got it, okay, this bent this way. And then look. See, you can turn it now. Before... This fucking thing was smacking against the tailpipe, so you know what the fuck I did? I took it off, and then I, I faked putting it back on here, and like hold it on, and then see how far it was banging up against this. I took it back off, and I took this piece from here to here. I don't know if you can see it. Right fucking here, there's a bend in the fucking pipe. See, it goes, and then it goes, it doesn't restrict airflow, but it does make, it does make the engine sound like it's quieter when it's running. But the reason how I fucking did that is I went over here, I took a fucking tailpipe, and came over here to this bike, and I shoved the fucking tailpipe piece through here, or right here, and I held it there. And I bent it. I bent it fucking this way. And then I smacked the shit out of it with a fucking hammer. And then the rest, I used brute force. And I bent the motherfucker so that it would fit. I wasn't going to sit there and spend extra, extra, extra fucking money like Bill Break Fix does. Because he's got disposable fucking income. Again, I'm not attacking Bill Break Fix. I'm just trying to give you... Dudes out there, proper information to make a motorized bike or bicycle. Anyway, back over to my Schwinn. See, I got the cup holder. Okay. This cup holder was originally on the Huffy bike. I took it off and put it on here because I wanted to test ride this motherfucker. This was my first build, by the way. This is a old 1972 or 71 Schwinn Supreme Cruiser. And I got fucking mileage on that bitch. 199.0 miles on that bitch. Got a big tank. 
I might be taking this tank off and putting it on the fucking four stroke and then taking the little tank and putting it on this bike. But anyway, this was my first build. It's an old Schwinn. Still running too, by the way. And I used uh, clamps for the fuel gas cage. A clamp down here for the gas cage as well. This hose still works. So does the fucking uh, filter. Of course, I might need to buy another filter because I haven't rode this fucker in a while, but she still runs though. And then I got my uh, Skyhawk carburetor. And then, uh, by the way, they're no longer in business and I want to know why. Either they tried to rip somebody off or fucking something else happened. And they're no longer in business. I want to know what the fuck happened to these people. Because they made good fucking parts. And I'll show you why. I got a sprocket amount hub adapter from them people. I don't know if you can still read it. The writing's probably off on it. Hold on. Because it used to say... Um, on the sprocket itself it says Pirate Cycles. And then on the... Hub adapter, it says Westchester MA, but uh, I don't know. I wrote it so many times, the writing probably came off on the fucking bike. And the tires are still good. I can sit here and squeeze it, it still has air. The rim, on the other hand, uh, I don't know where the fuck the dude got these rims. He must have got them out of the garbage or something. I tried to clean them up as best as I could. But there's like fucking rust and shit. I got like guess with my finger. It looks like it peels off. I tried to clean them as best as I could. I guess the dude sold me a shitty, a shitty rim. Was it good? Uh, spoked wheel. I don't know. You get what you pay for, I guess. Like I said, I'm not fucking rich like build brake fix. But anyway, check this shit out. Kip chain tensionizer. With double springs. See? It's got the tension like the fucking green bike. Okay? Got that. Right? Another chain tensioner just like the fucking four stroke. And it's wheel guided. See? I told you I wasn't fucking kidding. This usually used to have a fucking plastic wheel tensioner on this bitch. Tossed it in the fucking garbage. That's where that went. And you also notice that. This pedal crank. Doesn't belong on this fucking bike. But the reason why it's on here. I'm about to tell you. And these are the original pedals. That were on the fucking Schwinn. But different pedal cranks. See. These come out far enough. These come out far enough. To where it clears. The fucking engine and your pedals don't smack against this. Okay. <clears throat> I'll show you that right now. Hold on. The clutch is still, look, still tight as fuck on this one. See? And then you just pop. Yeah. Hold on. She's been sitting, so I gotta get her the grease, grease going, you know? Hold on. Fuck. Hold on. Jesus, fuck. That took forever. Okay. Sorry about that. Intermediate pause. Anyway, what? Gives the pedals just enough fucking clearance to go around the fucking engine. Yeah. I don't, I don't build motor kits where... The pedals come in so fucking close that they go like guess and touch the fucking clutch cover. I don't do that. But anyway, this is a part that used to be on my fucking mongoose bike. Alright. But some inconsiderate fucking asshole. You know, when people get to a certain age, they should not have their fucking driver's license anymore. And that's people who are 75 and older because their reaction time is slow as a fucking snail. My bike was parked in 
let's just say I was at a fucking supermarket. I had a normal pedal bike. I was at a supermarket. All right. And some old fuck thought it would be funny to uh, slam into my fucking bike and then just keep on driving, you know? Old people don't fucking care. You know, if the police cared about U.S. citizens and shit, that they would uh, get the old people off the fucking road and let the young people fucking drive and uh, take the old people's driver's license away and make them take a fucking... One of them senior buses that uh, picks up old people and takes some grocery shopping and shit. Instead of letting old motherfuckers drive and trying to fucking damage other people's fucking property because the police is too fucking stupid to do their job to take driver's license away from old people. Anyway, sorry that little intro took so fucking long. Or that little introduction, but yeah. Also got to mention, on the other side of this pedal crank, I already showed you, it goes past here, okay? That's enough clearance. And then on this side, you can't get these parts anymore unless you're looking online, but I doubt anybody fucking sells them anymore. That clutch, um, the clutch slash pop lever, okay? Go like this. This should be even with the crankcase, but it's not. This little groove thing right here, that's for this kip chain tensionizer. Now on the back of here, if you read this real quick, it says Pirate Cycles. Yeah, Pirate Cycles Westchester MA. Spring-loaded chain tensionizer. See, goes up underneath here, connects to here. There's a little part that goes inside the gearbox here. I don't know if you can fucking see it. And there's the, uh, the two springs for the chain tensioner. It connects to the uh, clutch cover inside here. They got the ones that bolt on the outside. That's fucking stupid. You would rather have the inner one to where it's close to the fucking chain. Not some fucking shit that's like away from the chain, because that would just fuck your wheel up even more. Anyway, this original bike used to have a pedal wheel on here to where you could use this shifter gear to pedal start the bike. And I think I'm in, I don't know if this is third gear or fourth gear. I'm in, I think it's third or fourth gear. And then this one's high. So it's in high fourth gear. That's so you can start the fucking bike or pedal start it and get it going. The paint peeled off the fucking motor because of how hot the fucking engine gets. And then this other little part, I'm not going to tell you what website I got this off of. This helps take some of the heat away from the fucking engine and throws it towards the exhaust. As for the exhaust itself, I might have to take this bitch off because this fucking part's all fucking rusted and I want to get a shiny chrome one like that one there for this one. But anyway, I probably had this motor for fucking years. I'd say 10, maybe 12 years. Got some mileage on this bitch, believe me. And I just replaced the fucking clutch pads in here. The um, the Allen key, or Woodruff key, Woodruff key, and Woodruff key on the other side, and the fucking Woodruff key for the fucking the drive sprocket. Yep. But anyway, back to this bike. Clutch still works. But as you can see, I got a few wirings here. Um. We're not going to talk about what the fuck happened here, because this was my radiator fan hookup, and uh, I didn't have the motherfucker properly mounted, 
and it flew off and went flying into fucking traffic. So after that happened, I stopped riding the bike for a little bit. But she still fucking runs, though. Shit. Yep. I think I might have a an exhaust leak. I'm not fucking sure. Might have to change that inside there. But anyway, she still runs. I got mileage on it. I'll show you that pretty soon. Also, unlike build brake fix, again, I'm not after him. I'm not trying to attack him. I'm just a little bit smarter than him when it comes to certain shit. Okay? No. Check this. Tail light, bright as fuck. Headlight bright as fuck. Well, we're gonna turn the light out just to show you. See, that's bright as fuck. Yeah. That's bright as fuck. That shows my battery levels. And then. That's how strong my fucking headlight is. Yep. See? That bitch is bright. Now, I'll show you my mileage. I got 1,700... Excuse me. 1,767.6 miles. A couple days ago when the radiator fan fell off my fucking bike, this motherfucker went from 40, 41, topped out at 50. I mean, it was fucking flying. I turn around, slid down my bike, speed hour went down to like 30 miles an hour. Radiator fan was on the highway, tried to turn around to go get it, truck ran it over. I ain't pissed or anything, I'm just s sort of pissed off, but not really. Anyway, look, walking gas cap. Thing. Can't steal my fuel. And then, of course, I got, hold on, watch, turn that off, right? Oh, what's that? Oh, turn signals. But hold on, I'm seeing the light behind me. Oh, turn signals. Huh. Let's see how bright those are. See? You're in traffic or whatever. I'm turning right. I'm turning left. And then, of course, if I turn this on, the headlight, okay? The headlight and the tail light comes back on, but no, no hazard lights yet. I haven't had time to hook that up yet. Alright, let's get the light back on. See everybody out there, they want to build these bikes, right? This one over here in the corner is just my regular uh, town bike. So watch. i got a caution light on the back of here. Bought this off of eBay too. And then you press it again and... Yeah. It's a caution light, in case some asshole tries to fucking rear-end me or whatever. That's my, just my normal riding bike. Those two rims came off that spare bike that's over there in the corner. That's where I got my tubes and tires from. They had it in the fucking garbage and I picked that bitch up. The other tires, I burned them the fuck up. Come, come check this out. 
Bell Brake Fix was right about one thing. You gotta choose your selection of tires. These are Walmart grade, okay? I think they're called E3 or fucking. Hold on. I, I gotta see the tire brand on here again. It is XL. EXCL. Yeah, EXCL. XL or XL. This one was the front tire. This one was the back tire. I wore the fucking treads out. Now that's what you call worn out fucking treads. Okay. These are not worn out. Alright. These are regular fucking tires. Barely used. Still got the fucking tread on them. Okay. What you're looking at is fucking dirt and fucking mud. It's in the fucking tires, if you look closely, okay? Everybody's like, oh, your tires look worn, and they're shitty looking, you need to get some new ones. Sorry, I don't have disposable income like Bell Brake Fix. Apparently, he's got a Swedish bank account or some shit, and he buys all these bikes, or gets them from a junk pile or some fucking where. Then he goes out and buys all these fucking motors, or he gets in front of the junkyard or something because I don't got bankroll like he does. I pay rent just like everybody else and I got fucking bills to pay. The bikes are just my fucking side job and fucking a way to make fucking money. If anybody wants me to build them a bike, I'll build them the bike correctly. Now, there's another YouTuber on YouTube. I forget what name they go by, but uh, the one dude's like, oh, if your sprocket's not fitting on your wheel, what you want to do is take your dish brake cub apart and take this fucking dust cover off right here so that the uh, the fucking uh, sprocket goes on the wheel and then you just put your brake dish brake cub back on. Yeah, well, let me tell you about that. And you take this fucking dust cover off that's underneath this, this brake cover lever, you take this dust cover off, okay? One of two things is going to happen. One, this dust cover ain't going to protect um, when you take it off. It's not going to protect from the dirt going into your fucking bearings and grinding them out. As you can see, I rode through dirt, dust, mud, fucking bike trail, all that shit, gravel, dirt roads, you fucking name it. This wheel still goes, and I still have my dust cover on it, just like the fucking Schwinn over here. The Schwinn still has its fucking dust cover on it. See? And, this other wheel, I'm gonna educate you motherfuckers. Still have the dust cover on this one. I'm not like Bike Berry, and I'm not like fucking King's Murder Bikes, and I'm not like GasBike.net, and I'm not like Groovy.net or .com, okay? I know how to build shit right the fucking first time. And, I got electrico, electrical tape on here to hold this on. Hasn't moved. I got two clutch lever, locking nuts. I got both of these on tight and I got an opposite one on the other side to work the clutch spring and to also fucking be lock washed so that this cable doesn't slide out and then you lose control of your fucking clutch lever. <clears throat> and then I got my sticker decals as you can see. This little engine still fucking running. Says the Schwinn and the fucking four stroke. But the problem with the four stroke is that uh, I need a fucking racing clutch and not some fucking ghetto fucking aftermarket bullshit. I'm going to be getting that here at the end of the month and then I'm going to fully test how fast this fucking motor goes. Everybody's saying, oh, oh, the motor's slow or oh, you're too fat and the motor only goes like 25, 15 miles an hour or some shit. Now the problem is this right here. 
You gotta get your fucking gearing right, okay? This is a 44 tooth sprocket. This is a hub adapter mounted sprocket and it's fucking flush. This is not from Bike Barry. It's from another company that used to work with fucking part cycles. I'm not going to mention the dude's name because you're just going to go to his website and buy, buy up all the fucking parts so that I don't get any. That's not happening. It attaches to the fucking wheel hub, okay? And you line it up. With the wheel hub, after you get this on, you push this forward. Then you see how much clearance you need for this to line up with the fucking bike and the fucking chain and the fucking drive. And then this other little part is another company that makes this, these fucking metalized chain tensioners. I'm not going to mention the name because you motherfuckers don't need to know the name. And as you can see, the chain's on there, and I don't give it much play. That's how much play it has right there. But, yeah, these are my bikes, and that's how I fucking rig them. As for this piece, if you got an old-style bike like this, like this Schwinn Supreme Cruiser, okay? Beep that. This is a seat holder that was on another bike. You know, like one of these clamps. It was from off of a beach cruiser or some shit that I got out of the garbage. I smacked this piece off the bike. And then I used it for a mounting thing. This is a seat, um, seat post uh, latching tool. Goes through there, bolts onto here, bolts to the back rack. Back crack comes back, and boom, this motherfucker's mounted too, see? And it's the old style back crack. I don't get shit that's fucking inferior and whatnot. Also, I gotta figure out how to fucking put this on my four stroke. Because I don't know why they sent me one of these that's supposed to be for a two stroke. See, watch. supposed to mount it on the back of your engine right there where that bolt is and you're supposed to bolt this on like this and then this is supposed to go down and then attach to your thing now over here I need to know hold on my steering's all fucked up because the wheel's trying to turn and the bike's trying to fall over I don't think so this has to mount either like this, mount like that, or it's supposed to go behind here and have a bolt. And then this is supposed to go down like this, or I'm just going to drill a hole and fucking mount it like that. I got to figure out how to do that. Haven't did it yet, though. Anyway, unlike belt brake fix, um, you probably seen these online. This is it for a um, uh, what the fucking what's the name? What's the name? A fucking quad battery charger. It's for a six volt and twelve volt battery charge. I change it to not six volt but twelve volt, and then I hook these two little battery clamps the battery and I charge it that way because I don't have any fucking charging systems for this yet but once I get the charging kit for the engine and then when the engine's running it'll show me if the battery's charging I'm gonna have to hook up a separate little relay that shows me when the battery's done charging and all that shit I didn't get there yet but anyway I think that's ingenious though Got a turn signal there and a turn signal here. Well, I'll be dipped. This thing's fucking, hold on. This thing's fucking loose. You little bitch. Fuck. 
I'm gonna have to tighten that up. God damn it. Anyway, I can do that. I got the parts now anyway. Like I said, I ain't trying to fucking attack anybody online. I'm just trying to get people, you know, fucking information on how to properly build these bikes and build the fucking engines to where you get them to work because we're not all rich like build break fix, okay? We don't have a Swiss bank account. We're not rolling in De Niro. We ain't like fucking P. Diddy and fucking Malcolm X and fucking 50 Cent running out here driving Escalades and fucking uh, Bugattis and fucking Ferraris and shit, okay? Some people who try to build one of these bikes, okay? They have a limited bank account or limited money on their fucking credit card, okay? This is just the cheap means of cheap transportation. That's all it is. And for other people who are 16 and older or 16 and younger, it'd probably be a, a fun little hobby for them, but you know. Oh, and before I end this video, you notice that each one of these fucking bikes has a hub adapter mounted sprocket, hub adapter mounted sprocket, hub adapter mounted sprocket and I'll tell you why everybody gets one of these kits they give you that nigger rigged rag joint shit that mounts on this side of your fucking wheel right here and then you cut the other one and fit it on the back of here so the one goes back here like this and the other one goes like this and then you're supposed to sandwich them together so they make a press fit like that on both sides and then you tighten up the nine hole fucking sprocket, which is fucking heavy as fuck. It's like five or ten pound piece of fucking sheet metal. And then when you're fucking driving, okay, and if your spokes are like this fucking thin, or fucking um, even thinner than this, and you gotta start the bike, it'll fuck your wheel up. I know, because I had that happen to several bikes already. It happened to this one. It happened to this one. And it happened to the fucking four stroke. Because the original wheel that went on this fucking bike was a fucking, uh, one of them fucking shifter wheels like this. It was a fucking shifter wheel like this. And the little gay fucking mounting sprocket, I showed you. See, in Chinatown, they measure this fucking thing here, okay? This little hub bump right here, okay? Right here. Sprocket goes down on here, and then the little rubber shit goes right here, and then on the opposite side, on this side, it goes on both ways, and it sandwiches the fucking wheel. Then when you're driving, okay, and you pop the clutch, the fucking thing's pulling at the wheel like this, okay? Pulling at the wheel like that, alright? That's not fucking good, because that'll destroy your fucking wheel in no time. And some. Some retards don't fucking understand that. Then they're sitting there saying online, Oh, my bike broke. Oh, I don't know what the fuck happened. Oh, my shit's fucked up. I can't ride it anymore. Might as well junk the engine. That's because you're a fucking retard. I had far more research into these fucking bikes and motors than any other motherfucker. Including a fucking nigger from Jeanette when he used to build these bikes. Sorry to use a der derogatory uh, word as, you know, the end word, but it's the fucking truth. And then, you know, they want to sit there and hurry up and build you a fucking nigger rig bike instead of building it the right way. And then you drive about 15, 20 miles down the fucking road and your shit breaks. And then you end up going back to the dude. And putting another fucking wheel on the fucking bike. And then you're back to square one again. Damaging the fucking wheel. That's fucking stupid. Anyway. Hope you found this video to be fucking. In, you know. Informative. Stay safe out there. And uh. If you're going to be riding one of these motherfuckers on the road. Like I am. Get yourself some turn signals. A headlight tail light and shit. And a fucking horn. Because uh. You know. Old people out there can't fucking drive and uh, 
They'll run you the fuck over if they can't see you coming, you know what I'm saying? Alright, goodbye.